Good morning everybody, hope you're all having an amazing week. In this video I'm gonna talk about what is in my MAC Custom Palette. This is the 15 uh, eyeshadow palette by MAC and all the shades that you see here I've chosen and picked myself. Obviously MAC has beautiful ready-made palettes that you can just go in a store and buy. Such a big variety of color and combinations but I wanted to create my own, which I have to say was a little bit tricky because MAC has so many beautiful colors and so many different finishes that I wanted to buy them all, but obviously there were only 15 slots to fill in. So let's move straight into it and see what colors I picked. Starting from the lightest shade in the color, we've got uh, Nylon. Nylon is a frost finish and uh, it's a super intense gold highlighting color that I've used today to highlight my inner corners and underneath my brow bone. This is the swatch over here. I don't know whether it's picking up on camera and it's this color over here. It's beautiful and it's one of MAC's most popular colors within good reason. Works perfectly if you want to go for a, a warm eye. The second color that I have in my palette is Soft Brown and is my go-to transition shade. This is probably my most used shade out of all the colors in the palette. I use it almost every day. I use it with so many different colors just to go over my crease and shape my crease a little bit. It's a matte finish and I'll swatch it for you guys. It's a matte finish and it's a beautiful peachy brown. It's very warm and again, one that I use almost every day. Next up, we have All That Glitters. All That Glitters is probably one of MAC's most popular shades and it's at the Lux Pearl finish, which as you can see, there is a pattern here. The majority of my eyeshadows have this finish. So it's quite a shimmering shade. It's a beautiful beige color with a pink undertone. It's ideal to use all over the lid. And I just love this shade for a very day appropriate look. I just blend a little bit of soft brown uh, in my crease as a transition shade. And then I go in with all the glitters all over the lid. And it's a beautiful, most easy to do every take combination. The next shadow in my palette is Texture, which is a velvet finish. Velvet finish eyeshadows have a very soft kind of shimmer, which doesn't translate to the eye. Therefore, I use Texture as a crease color as well. So if I'm going for a darker um, or a more smoky look, I'll go in with soft brown and then to deepen my crease even more, I'll go in with texture. I'll swatch it for you guys to see. Again, very warm tone. It has a peach undertone to it and it's beautiful for a warm tone eye look. This is Amber Light, probably the most stunning color in the palette. Uh, this is a frost again, so it's a very intense color. The MAC website describes it as a brown with a peach undertone, but for me it's a straight up gold, if not a rustic color. I just love it to bits and it's a beautiful warm tone again color. This eyeshadow over here is Woodwing, which again, it's ever looks pearl finish eyeshadow which, as I said before, is the most common finish of eyeshadows that I have chosen in my palette. This is a beautiful brown antique kind of gold color. I love to use it all over the lid. Woodwing, it's a very special color. I love blending it all over the lid because I think the more you blend it, the more the color changes. Uh, it's very weird, I cannot explain it. Beautiful, beautiful color. One that I love using both in the summer and winter. Next to Woodwing, we have Sable, which has a frost finish. Now, Sable again is one of my most used eyeshadows in this palette. It's a beautiful brown with um, a reddish undertone. It's almost a plummy color and it's beautiful for every day uh, to use all over the lid. This is the swatch right here. It swatches beautifully and it applies in the eye very nicely too. And I just, it, as I said, it's one of, it's one of my go-to colors and 
I think it goes with so many different looks. Moving forward, this is Swiss Chocolate and now the matte by MAC. I love Swiss Chocolate, I use it again very often if I want to go for a brown smoky eye to um, uh, smoke a little bit my outer V. I even use it sometimes in the crease if I go for a very dark eye look. Swiss Chocolate is um, reddish brown but it's a muted reddish brown so it's not very intense and I just love how it translates on the lid. Beautiful color, I strongly recommend. Um, this is the swatch right here. Uh, in my opinion one of the most beautiful mattes that MAC do. And the last color in my uh, in the second row is Antique. Again, Everlux Pearl Finish. This is one of my favorites. Actually, I have to say, I have to stop using one of my favorites because obviously I chose all the colors, so all the colors are my favorites. This is a beautiful color. It complements my skin tone so much. And I think it's ideal for someone that has green eyes. Very highly pigmented, I just love this eyeshadow to use all over my moving lid with a little bit of Swiss chocolate or texture uh, blended as a transition shade into the crease. Next up we have Embark, another matte color which I absolutely love. It's gorgeous. I use it in my outer V when I want to uh, smoke out my eyes or underneath my lash line. It's a matte color, translates beautiful, really pigmented again and one color that matches so many eye makeup looks. Next up we have Roll. This is a straight up orange, very vivid orange color, another matte finish eyeshadow, a uh, very very warm tone. I think this is the most warm tone eyeshadow I've got. I was arming and arming about this eyeshadow, I mean I loved it visually, but then I was a little bit scared to buy it because I didn't know whether I'm gonna use it. And to be honest, I've used it, but not as much as I would like to. It blends beautifully, it's a very vivid color, and I think you can play with it and do so many different eye makeup looks. It just warms up the whole you know, eye look and uh, makes it in a, into a beautiful warm eye. And Rue, uh, along with another eyeshadow that I'll mention in a little bit, I've been blending and pairing the two, and I think they match perfectly together. This eyeshadow uh, it's called Expensive Pink and it's not an eyeshadow that I was looking to buy but I, when I went to the MAC store I was looking to buy another eyeshadow that they had run out of so I bought this one instead and I haven't regretted one bit. This is Expensive Pink, another Velux Pearl finish. Uh, it's a beautiful, again, all over the lid color, nothing too dramatic, you know, very pigmented, beautiful on the eye and yeah, it's just a nice shadow that I feel very comfortable wearing on a daily basis. Moving on, we have coppering and this is the eyeshadow that I told you that I like to pair with Rue and I think they match perfectly together. Um, now, Coppering is again an other Velux Pearl eyeshadow. What more can I say? The name sells it all. It's a copper color with an orange undertone. Beautiful color, especially again if you have green or blue eyes. It just makes them pop. Amazing, amazing color. Just beautiful. Just look at that. Uh, it's beautiful. Next to Coppering we have Cranberry and it's a frost finish eyeshadow. I have Cranberry all over my lid today. I just love Cranberry, again one of my favorite eyeshadows. Uh, it's a very dark plum color, a copper color uh, with some pink shimmer in it. I just love, love, love Cranberry. And as I said, it's what I have on my eyes today. And last but definitely not least, we've got Sketch. Sketch is another velvet finish eyeshadow. Goodness me, I adore this shade. This is a straight up burgundy color with some reddish shimmer in it. Again, one that uh, is very highly pigmented. Look at that. Uh, beautiful, again, if you want to smoke out the eye. Beautiful to use along the lash line. And yeah, I just love this 
meat tone burgundy. So these were all my eyeshadows swatched for you guys. As you can see, these are all warm tone eyeshadows because as I've said before, I'm someone that gravitates more warm tones eyeshadows rather than cool tone eyeshadows. I just think they complement my skin tone better. This is the 15 eyeshadow uh, palette. Obviously, there is the duo, there is the four shades, the nine shades, the 12 shades, the 15 shades, which is the one I've got, and then is there is the double that there are 30. But I thought that for the time, 15 eyeshadows will be enough. It goes without saying that there are a ton of other eyeshadows by MAC that I would like to own at some point but so far these 15 I think will be enough. That's everything from me guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the very top of your screen in order to subscribe to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I shall see you all very soon with another video. Bye guys! Good morning everybody, hope you're all having an amazing week. In this video I'm gonna talk about what is in my MAC Custom Palette 